value of words. Long time ago, a family resided in a city. And in that family, 7-year-old Aditi and 8-year-old Aditya lived with their parents. Being siblings, nature-wise, both the kids were completely different from each other. Aditya used to speak very less as compared to his sister, who is very talkative. Sometimes, she used to talk on those matters too, where there was no need. Mom? Today, teacher asked questions one by one from each and every student. And when my turn came, I answered the question correctly before she could even ask. Still, I don't know why she gave me only 5 marks out of 10. Her mother used to explain to her a lot that she should speak less. Aditi, child, we should talk less and sweet. If we talk a lot, then people tend to ignore our talks. But she always said to her mother that, Mom, I don't talk much. Rather, I don't even know how to talk more. I am always at loss of words. One day, their aunt came to stay at their house and brought toys for both the kids. Aditya, this robot is for you. And Aditi? Here is your doll. Aditya quietly kept his robot. Thank you, Auntie. But Aditi, as always, spoke up. Auntie, why did you bring this doll for me? I already had this one. If you had asked me before, then I would have told you that which doll I want. <laughs> it's fine, Aditi. Next time I'll ask you. What is the need to ask? I will go to the market along with you and there I will select a pretty doll of my choice for me. And then you can buy it for me. It's fine. It's fine. Come, let's go now. Uh, uh now? At present I'm very tired. Huh? No issues if you're tired now. But tell me the time when you're going to take me to the market. What? Aditi, do not disturb your aunt. Come, sister. I'm not disturbing her. I'm just talking to my aunt. Next day, her aunt and mother were talking to each other. This time during vacations, we'll go to Nanital. And then, Aditi came there as always started talking. We went to Nanital last year. And before that, we went to Grandma's house in Dehradun. Have you ever been to Dehradun? Yes, once I went. We have been there many times. You know, we go there often. You also must go there. That place looks more beautiful during summers. I'm sure you love that place. Come, sister. We shall go to the kitchen now. And after that, you should go to Nanital too. I'm sure you like it there. That night, Aditi's father too is talking to her aunt. Sister, so nice you came here. Being busy, I didn't have time to visit your place. No issues. I knew you wouldn't be able to take out time from work. That's why I came here. Then, Aditi came there and said, Dad, I need to talk to you. Not now, Aditi. Presently, I'm talking to your aunt. It's fine. First, you talk to auntie. Saying this, Aditi sat there and waited for their talks to get over. Her dad and aunt started talking. I've heard you brought toys for kids, but didn't brought anything for me. <laughs> I, I brought a gift for you too. Keep this. This is your gift. This shirt is so nice. By watching this, Aditi could not control herself and interrupted them in between. Wow, Daddy, your gift is really very nice. Auntie, you came up with such a wonderful gift for Daddy. This means you really have the knowledge of buying wonderful gifts. Yes, your aunt is an expert in this matter. But I can't understand why she brought such a small doll for me. Dad, you know, aunt came up with a doll for me. I had the same doll with me. Therefore, I said to her that she should bring me another present, which is different. And then auntie said that next time she would ask me before buying the gift. Same thing went on for the next few days. Aditi, helpless due to her habit, without any reason, used to say something or the other. 
You're eating so late. I ate my meal long time ago. Are you sleeping so early? I sleep very late. Why you wake up so late? I wake up early every day. Her aunt was very angry on her, but rather, she chose to keep quiet. And then, after three days, when aunt was about to leave, she asked the kids. Now tell me, kids, next time, what should I bring for you? Auntie, you please come soon. We'll go together to the market and we will purchase many toys that are dear to me. Auntie, please bring some sweets for us. Sure, Aditya. I will bring sweets for you. Saying this, the aunt went. But Aditi didn't like this at all. With a sad heart, she told her mother, Mom, aunt didn't say anything to me and accepted Aditi's demand instantly. Her mom explained her and said, Aditi, that's why I always told you to talk less. With short and sweet words, people give value to your words. And if we speak much, then no one gives value to us. Aditi understood her mother's words, she said. You're saying it right, mother. From now on, I won't speak without any reason. Like this, Aditi got rid of her habit of speaking unnecessarily, and she started speaking less. So children, we get a lesson from this story that we should speak less and sweet. With this, people give value to our words.